Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for December 1st. The year has gone by quickly and let us begin. Oh Lord, open my lips this morning and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. The morning psalm, praise O Lord, O Jerusalem, praise your God, O Zion. For he strengthens the bars of your gates, he blesses your children within you, he grants peace within your borders. He fills you with the finest of wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down hail like crumbs. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his winds blow and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation they do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord. The Old Testament lesson this morning, it reflects our December and Advent time. It is Isaiah's prophecy about having a new king from the stump of Jesse, which is David's grandfather. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for all of the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. On that day the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious." The psalm election for this morning is from Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to a king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. May the mountains yield prosperity for the people and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live while the sun endures and as long as the moon throughout all generations. May he be like rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days may righteousness flourish and peace abound until the moon is no more. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. Blessed be his glorious name forever. May his glory fill the whole earth. Amen and amen. The letter lesson this morning is from Paul's letter to the church at Rome, chapter 15, verses 4 through 13. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, so that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ has become the servant of the circumcised on behalf of the truth of God, in order that he might confirm the promises given to the patriarchs, in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written. Therefore, I will confess you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. And again, he says, rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. 
And again, Isaiah says, a root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. May the glory of God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The gospel lesson this morning is, is about John the Baptist in Matthew, the third chapter, verses 1 through 12. Again, about preparing for the birth of our Son, Savior Jesus Christ. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John wore clothing of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. When the people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him and, and all the region along the Jordan, and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, you brood of vipers, who warns you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our ancestor, for I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance. But one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals, for he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the granary. But the chaff he will burn with an unquenchable fire. As we turn to our time of morning prayer this morning, we begin once again with the song of Zechariah, Luke 1, 68-79. In tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. You have come to your people and have set them free. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. You have come to your people and set them free. With this oath, you have sworn to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our lives. In tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of the, their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall indeed break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and guide their feet into the way of peace. You have come to your people and set them free. As we join in prayer, satisfy, your with, satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we shall live this day in joy and praise. Let us pray. Loving God, as the sun chases away the night, so he, you have scattered the power of death in the rising of Jesus Christ. And you bring us all blessings this day in him. As we go out into the world this day, we thank you for that which you have given us, that the very breath of life. You have given us a community in, li in which to live and worship and work and play. And we thank you for that. We thank you for those who we work with or, or share common concerns. Strengthen them, strengthen us as we live this day. Draw us also into the other, into the diversity of this world and your children within it. 
help us to understand that we do not have alone the only way to salvation, but we have our way. Help us to share it faithfully and joyfully. We look this day for indications of your love at work in the world, that, that smile, that glance, that hello, that begins to come with this season, the season of Christmas. Especially this day we remember those who work for reconciliation and, and love and justice in the world. Mighty God, with the dawn of your love, you reveal your victory over all that would destroy or harm. And you brighten the lives of all who need you, whether they have turned their face to you yet or not. Especially we pray for families suffering separation, whether it be by choice or by fiat. Be with them. And as we live life this day, help us to see the people who are different from ourselves, not as different, but as people, that we may understand that their drive for love and compassion and justice is just as great as ours. And we pray for those this day who are isolated by sickness or sorrow Certainly, the flu season is upon us. COVID has not really gone away. And those who are isolated may be isolated out of fear of spreading something they might have, but are not sure of yet. So be with them in their isolation, whether self-imposed or imposed by out forces outside. And especially we pray for those in this season who sorrow for while it is a joyous time, it is also a sorrowful time. And we know all too well the times when we feel so utterly alone in this season. We continue to pray for the victims of violence or warfare, uh, particularly those in Ukraine, but those in our own cities and villages in urban areas and rural areas that are victims of gun violence, but violence of the harsh word, violence of the demeaning phrase, violence caused by others, especially in this time and in this day. We pray for your church, that it may be strong and shine forth in this time. Holy God, your love is higher than the heavens and your grace is wider than the sea. Awaken our hearts to the joy of your presence and open our lips to sing your praise to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together this morning the prayer that our Lord taught us saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And so this day... Serve the Lord with gladness and say amen. Bless the Lord and may the Lord's name be praised. Have a good day and enjoy the fruits of God's presence with you.